In this video, we're going to start a new series on Google Sheet data cleaning using this technique to automatically highlight errors in your data set. So for example, we have a master list here on the left hand side of all of the athlete names. But if I enter an athlete name that does not match a name in that list, it will automatically highlight in red. Similarly, if I were to enter a name that does match, that name will remain unhighlighted. This is going to be a really powerful trick if you are working with large data sets and need a quick and easy way to see if they match a master list. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and in order to get this started, um, what I've gone ahead and done here is just added two different pieces of data. So the first thing that we have here is our master list. And in your own data projects, this would be where you keep all of your athlete names and their positions or really any other information that you needed to be able to recall over and over again. And then I have a data table here, which just has um, all of the names of the athletes in there, as well as the date that they did their test on and then whatever the test score is. Now, the reason that this is important is when I'm entering data into this master list, if I have anything like an extra space or I've spelled the name wrong or something doesn't match my master list, when I go to filter that value back out, I'm not going to get it because it doesn't match the value that I'm looking for. So it's just going to have us missing data points when we go to create any visualizations or be able to interpret that data. So I use this technique here to highlight any um, values that don't match whatever I'm looking for so that I can easily see where something needs to be edited and cleaned up. So in order to do this, I'm going to create a formula here on the right hand side so that we can walk through the steps. So on the right hand side, I've just created a formula bar. And the first thing that I want to do is actually check if there is a match in the data set. So luckily Google Sheets has a function for that. And I'm going to type equals match. Whoops, spelt it wrong. Match. And it's going to ask me what I want to look for. And in this case, it's D2, which is that first piece of data. And then it's going to ask me where I want to look for it. Let's look for it in this first column here. And I'm going to go from A2 all the way to A. I'm going to be dragging this formula and I know this won't change. So I'll lock that in with F4 that puts exclamate or sorry, dollar signs around all of the values. That means that it won't change. And then I know that these lists aren't sorted in any way. So I'm going to add a zero and close this off. So as I drag this down, what you're going to see is this gives me a match, um, basically a whole number for the place in our master data where this value exists. So for example, Ruben Boyce is the first position here. So we can use this to our advantage. The next thing that I want to do here is because there are error values here, I want to assign these error values um, a value basically. So I'm going to use a formula here and wrap this around and I'm going to type equals if error open this up and it's going to do this whole calculation again. But if it is an error, I'm going to hit comma. I want it to be a value of zero. And the reason I'm picking zero is because there is no way for zero to be um, a match value because the first row that it could possibly match in would be number one. And when I hit enter again, it's not going to change our outputs until we get to these values of error. Okay. And then this is a zero. So the next thing that I want to do is just check to see if this actually equals zero. So at the end, I'm going to put equals zero. And now it's giving me falses and trues. So basically this is saying false. There's no error in this value. And this is saying true. There is an error in those values. And if I were to drag this down one more, you can see that it's still going to give me a true even when there is no value. So the last thing we have to do is just check to see if this cell is actually empty. Okay, so we want to check for two things at the same time. So I'm going to use a function called and at the beginning of this whole formula, I'll type and open that up and I'll go right to the end. So this is my first logical expression, comma, the second logical expression is going to be D2 does not equal blank. So what this is checking for is it's looking, does this value match zero, meaning that there is an error in it, and is it blank? And when I hit enter, it's still gonna give me a false, 
but when I drag it all the way down, now this one's a false as well, okay? Meaning that it doesn't meet both criteria, but this one does because it doesn't match and it's not blank. So now that we have our trues and falses, we can start to use this to apply a formatting. So the formula is not really going to change except for I'm going to wrap this um, part of the formula where it has the A2 to A. I'm just going to wrap that in indirect. And what indirect does is it just takes text and turns it into a range. And I'm gonna wrap this around. It doesn't actually change the output of the formula. So I'll drag this down one more time. And this just allows us to add in, um, if I was looking at the data on the intro slide, I would have to have the intro values in there too. So that the sheet name, so it would be like intro that, and then it would be looking at A2 to A on the intro tab. But this just allows us to maintain the values no matter where we move the, um, the formula to. So enter. What I'm going to do now is copy this formula, control copy, and I'm going to select all of this data here, go to format, conditional formatting, and instead of D1 to D1000, I'm gonna go from D2 to D, so that is this whole range, and you can see that now it's highlighting everything in green because it's looking to format the cell if it's not empty, but instead, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and look for custom formula, and I'm going to paste that formula in. And right away, you can see how that works because we've left certain things open. The ones that are highlighted are the only ones that don't match. I like to give those a light red color just so that I can see where they don't match. And I will hit done here. And if we were to take another name and type it in there, let's say Judah, Judah John, you can see that that one won't be, um, won't be highlighted. But if we took Judah John, and I copied that down, but let's say we had someone spell it wrong with a space at the end of it. Now you can see that that one's highlighted and we know, hey, we have to check this one a little bit closer because it's um, saying that it doesn't match our master list. So this is a quick and easy trick so that you can learn to clean out any errors in your data set. I would just go into this one here, inspect the value and then delete that white space and then hit enter and you can see now it matches. So I hope this trick helps you out with your own data sets. And if it does, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help me out. It helps the channel grow and it helps me continue to make more videos. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.